So, <clears throat> here we are, sentient selves, in this realm of significance where every interaction with other has significance. It has a certain importance. It has a personal impact on me, on each of us. Every <clears throat> solitary self <clears throat> has become sentient. We all sense each other and we all interact with each other. That's the whole universe. Our whole experience at this point is interactions with other. And it's a wonderful world because every interaction is just filled with significance. And we have the senses to perceive that significance. It impacts us. It affects us because it is so significant. And the first, the first urge of awareness is always to merge. The urge to merge is paramount, and that is Netzach. Netzach, <clears throat> I translate it as vitality. Um, most in the Western Hermetic tradition uh, translate it as victory, but Netzach really has no translation into English. It's not a word that appears in the Old Testament and in the Torah. Um, <clears throat> looking at the letters which compose the word Netzach, Nun, Tzadi, and Cheth, vitality makes so much more sense. And vitality is what Netzach is all about. Netzach is about resonance. How everything that exists, every sentient self which composes everything in our existence, everything within the astral realm is, a, is sentient. <clears throat> Everything resonates with everything else. Everything becomes automatically alike with everything else. Everything affects us. And we likewise affect everything else. We resonate. There becomes a mutuality of feeling, of thought, of emotion. For <clears throat> I can really only describe these realms, Netzachod, uh, Malkuth, um, from a human perspective. Um, because non-human um, perspectives of these realms are so foreign to our experience that it's hard to comprehend. Really, the only way to truly comprehend them is through the transference of awareness and to directly experience what this, how this translates, how human emotion translates into universal experience for all things of resonance. We experience resonance through emotion, 
okay? That's how it registers in our awareness, generally, is through emotion. We begin to resonate, agree, <clears throat> become more and more alike. That is our initial automatic response is openness, friendliness. Closing off is a reaction that comes after this initial response of opening. Um, it is often a learned reaction to opening. Okay, But here in Netzach, it's all about opening self to other and merging. The urge to merge is what Netzach is all about. <clears throat> <clears throat> so it is the vitality of living beings is resonance. That is where that energy of existence arises, which is why I call this vitality. It is the source of the vital energy. <clears throat> it is that vitality, that spark of life <clears throat> is in that sock. And so um, we often equate Mother Nature with Netzach because in Netzach we have essentially the emotional archetypes. Venus is associated with Netzach because the path of Venus empties into Netzach. So it's very much flavored by Venus, very much shaped by Venus. <clears throat> she is the goddess of love, of emotion. Not only romantic love, but the body, physical love, lustful, er erogenous, erotic love. That love with energy and passion. Okay? So all of the emotional archetypes exist in Netzach because Netzach for human beings is the realm of emotion which is significance. This is our experience of significance, emotion. Okay. So in Netzach we have all the archetypes. We have Mother Nature, you know, she's the beautiful green of Netzach. Netzach is green for a number of reasons, most prominently because that is the color of nature. There are an infinite variety of greens in nature. And that is Netzach. That is the vitality that, that we experience. And Netzach is that vi green vitality of life on planet Earth, you know, for our human experience. Green is the life giver. Okay. So, the paths that create, feed, into Netzach. <clears throat> this place where <clears throat> awareness resonates, where self resonates with other. First, of course, is the input, the hidden path <clears throat> from Kether into Netzach that direct blessing of Kether into Netzach. And here with Kether, all of the essential meaning of Kether is communicated into this realm 
where it is enacted as significance, as all of the sentient cells interact with each other. Again, it's all about I interacting with I through all of these infinite multiple forms. And here the I fills this realm of all the sentient selves interacting with each other. The second input, and this is a very important hidden path, it comes from Bina to Netzach. It crosses from one pillar, one side pillar, to the next. It crosses from severity into mercy, from the source of the pillar of severity to the bottom of the pillar of mercy. Now this is a very strong input from the greater self into the sentient self in its process of resonating, resonating. This is the greater self directly impacting the resonance of the sentient self, the personal self. This is a direct input of the greater self to the personal self. So this is the birth of the conscience not the consciousness, the conscience, that voice inside of us that tells us what is right and what is wrong. And that first sense is an emotional perception. Oh, that's right, or oh, that's wrong. That's a, an emotional perception which is happening right here in Netzach because of this connection with the greater self. Okay? This is also a reaffirming or, or an introduction of those emotional forms that we find in <clears throat> Netzach, the archetypal forms of Netzach that urge to archetype, if you will, in Netzach. Netzach is about not not so much being inhabited by the archetypes as this is the level of our consciousness that wants to deal, wants to interact with the universe in the form of archetypes. Okay? This is how our awarenesses uh, the sentient, uh, sentient selves, human sentient selves, interact with universal forces in the form of archetypes. We, we give them archetypal forms here in Netzach. I don't know if that's making sense to you. It's sort of hard to wrap my words around. <clears throat> so... <clears throat> Part of that impulse is descending here via our own greater selves into Netzach. Okay? Now this is so important because it is a nether of the paths that cross Alifresh. There are two hidden paths that cross over this sacred spot of Alifresh, the center of the Tree of Life. And one of these is this hidden path that crosses from side pillar to side pillar. The only other paths that cross side pillar to side pillar are the mother letters. And we know how significant, how foundational the mother letters are. So these two hidden paths have the same significance, but at a totally different level, okay? These are at a very personal level because they are hidden paths, okay? 
Now, <clears throat> the next path is another hidden path, this time coming from Tiferet to Netzach. So this is the light of the uh, solitary self, the individuality, again impressing itself upon the sentient self and making sure. Now, <clears throat> okay, the resonance of the sentient self, how you as a sentient self resonate with your surroundings, this is determined by the essential meaning that you are composed of. Your specific set of essential meanings and your specific ratios determine your resonance, the, the quality and quantity of what you resonate with and how you resonate with th that <clears throat> is all determined by the essential meaning that you are expressing. Okay, your effect on the universe is the essential meaning that you are expressing. Okay, that is the, the medium through which resonance occurs. You resonate with similar things similar expressions of essential meaning, okay? That is uh, the mechanism by which the sentient self uh, resonates, merges with other, is by that factor of a likeness, okay? A likeness of essential meaning. That is the level at which resonance occurs and the merging begins. Okay. <clears throat> so, this path from Tiferet, from the individual self, the solitary self, that conglomeration of essential meanings in this specific ratio, that pure form of your self is coming down into the sentient self directly and reaffirming or affirming that imprint of essential meaning that is you. <laughs> okay, this is particularizing self even more um, <clears throat> personalizing the self so that that self interacts with all these other selves. And this is true here for everything else in the universe is having this exact same experience, a self interacting with other through resonance, through merging, through a likeness, okay? So, <clears throat> the next path <clears throat> coming in <clears throat> to Natsok is a lettered path. And this is calf. Calf is the cupped hand or the palm or the caressing hand. It caresses, okay? Uh, and this is Venus, the planet of Venus. And this is descending along the pillar of mercy from Gedjula, from Gedjula into Netzach is Venus. Now Gedjula is where everything is united, okay? 
that merging is, I mean, that's where we merge in Gejula. We are collective awarenesses in Gejula. And here in Nitzak, we are so individualized, so personalized, that this inf this infusion, <clears throat> this sort of a magnetic attraction descends via the path of Venus into Netzach and brings everything together. This is Venus. This is what Venus does. She brings together. She invites everything in and embraces it. You know, that's Venus. And that's what comes here from the pillar of mercy and empties the pillar of mercy into Netzach. It's like the dump of all the mercy in the tree is in Netzach. Because that's what it's about. It's about making us <clears throat> feel valued and at home, appreciated, included in existence. You know, it includes us. This is divine providence in action. This is divine providence taking care of all of her children. Okay? It's that loving embrace here. Thanks to Venus descending into Netzach. Okay, <clears throat> the final input into Netzach is the path of Sagittarius from Yesod, the sentient self, <clears throat> into Netzach, the resonant self. Now, this is the path of Sagittarius. The, fine, the last of the fire signs. And it is an echo of the, the upper one, the he, the, the fire of the eye descending into Chokmah. <clears throat> and the path of Leo, the, the, and the death, <clears throat> the light of the individual self descending into Gejula. And here we have the light of the astral self descending into Natsak. This is the path of Samak. Samak means a prop or a support. It, something that assists something else to stand up. Now, as I said, this is <clears throat> the light of the astral self. This is really <clears throat> the power of the astral body coming into realization as a resonant being that has an effect on everything else and that is affected by everything else. It is a very powerful being, you know, has all this exchange of energy with all of its environment. That's the, the, <clears throat> the truly distinguishing factor of an experience of the astral realm is that in exchange of energy with everything. It is a sea of energy exchanging, moving between self and other. Okay? That comes with Samir. It also, in that Sagittarian way of the archer, you know, it's archer is always right on target. And we think of the archer as, you know, just full 
of the potential energy. The, the archer isn't letting go of that arrow when we picture the archer. You know, the archer has that bow all the way back. We're, there's just so much power here of intention. So, really, this is, the path itself has this tension within it. And it's sort of like the uh, sentient self is propelled down this path of, uh, it's the path to incarnation is what it is. It's just, uh, um, it is a force of nature that draws the sentient self deeper and deeper into the material realm. <clears throat> it's, at this point, it is <clears throat> impossible to stop the process of incarnation. It's so strong is the draw <clears throat> into <sighs> this astral wonderland, this astral involvement. It's tantalizing to the sentient self. It's a very addictive to the sentient self because it, it, it feels so good. It feels so natural. Uh, <clears throat> it feels so nourishing here in this. <clears throat> So, <clears throat> that is Netzach, Resonance. Next time will be Hod and Dissonance. Okay, till then, bye-bye.